When I look up at the moon, I see memories, honestly. All the time growing up that I spent going outside and looking up at the moon was usually spent either by myself or with my dad. And he and I would spend hours looking through his telescope. Most of my childhood was spent getting quality time with him looking up at that moon. And every time I look at it now, it just takes me right back to my childhood and being with him and just really perspective of where we are in the world. My name is Brooklyn Herman and I'm a mission operations engineer at Intuitive Machines. As a mission operations engineer, I get to work with the engineers that are building the lunar lander and the flight software and ground software engineers that are building all of our software. And I pull in all of their knowledge and wisdom and inputs into operational procedures, timelines, and tools that we get to use here in Nova Control. I am from a very small town, very rural, so there's not a whole lot to do but go outside and look up at the stars. So anytime I was bored or just needed to be alone, I'd go outside, stargaze, look at the planets, most importantly, the moon. So after high school, I went to college at the University of Houston and got a degree in physics. And like most of the other people I studied with, we all loved NASA. We all wanted to work there one day. So I got a job as an operations planning flight controller at Mission Control at Johnson Space Center. And after four years there, it taught me everything I needed to know to come here at Intuitive Machines. I have been at Intuitive Machines for about six months. My first day, I got a flat tire on the way to work and I had to call Donna and let her know that I was not gonna be here on time. <laughs> and she immediately, do you need us to come get you? Are you okay? Do we need to, you know, come change your tire for you? And no, it was all fine. But that immediate moment I knew I am with good people and they are gonna take care of me. I mean, everyone says that, but I truly feel like I have the most supportive family to start because I can't leave her out. My mom, always 100%, B positive. It's a running joke. My blood type is B positive. So that was always B positive, no matter what, and work hard for what you want. So she always told me to be positive and work hard. I met my husband in kindergarten. I didn't even know who he was because obviously you're five, right? Like you don't know who these kids are, but we grew up together. We went to school together, became best friends in high school, and eventually fell in love. I don't think I would have evolved really into who I am now without him pushing me to always, always test the limits and never let anything hold you back because it doesn't matter your gender, your age, your experience. If you want it bad enough, you can get it. And to say, I did this. I achieved my goal and I'm forever on the surface of that moon. You can't get me off. 